How's it going everyone? It's your boy Dak Nano Wade, aka the Dig Dug himself, and today we are going to be fighting the Nibble Snarf. Oh wait, <clears throat> excuse me. We have also some Monster Hunter Generations gameplay, and then today we'll be fighting the Lagambi. Regardless though, not the Lagambi, excuse me, I'm getting my stuff mixed up. The Nibble Snarf. I apologize apologies guys, apologies. It's the Nibble Snarf fighting the Nibble Snarf. The Nibble Snarf is a monster who actually debuted, I believe, in Third, I should have did. I did. I really should have done some research on this guy. Either third or three ultimate guys. Please don't kill me. I'm pretty sure it's third though. Pretty sure it's third though. Regardless, please don't kill me. I was just checking to see if I had Striker Lance on or not. I'm sorry. That's what that was. Anyway, the Nibble Snarf is a very excellent monster. I mean, he's he's akin to that of the Gobel. If you guys ever fought the Gobel uh, in three or three ultimate, the the Nibble Snarf, he's a monster who likes to eat. Okay, in the box, if you saw closely, I actually picked up some bombs in the box, and I recommend you doing the same thing. Now, what I do with these bombs, or I have to jump because the Nibble Snarf will eat anything, is you set the bombs out in any particular area in which you would like to fight the Lagom, not the Lagom, excuse me, the Nibble Snarf in. I will set a bomb here, and I'll set a bomb on the other side over there because he tends to frequent these two areas normally. Okay, normally when I fight him, when I fight him on cross, this is what he would do. He would fight there, then he fight over here, so I figured, let's put a bomb there and there. Now, I messed up my timing and I took the whammy. There you go. But the Nimble Snarf, he's a very particular monster because he is another monster who likes to dig and hide and play and whatnot underneath the sand. Making it kind of hard to fight the guy. I would not recommend using aerial style. Now, I know we talk about resistance first. I just w really wouldn't recommend aerial style. Maybe you can get away with aerial intake blade because it's a horizontal uh, pattern as opposed to that of a vertical one. But, I mean... You could, I guess, get away with some, some aerial, but I w he's a kind of a low-profile monster, though, so I'd really recommend other things. Granted, though, if you're really nice at the aerial, you can also get away with, you know, some additional mounts. Because a thing that actually makes this fight so long is that I couldn't actually, you know, keep him still long enough to actually do some serious damage. I mean, so if you can get a mount in, or a couple of mounts or whatever, it'd greatly reduce your time for the hunt, so... That's something to think about. I necessarily wouldn't recommend it, but if you're one talking about, you know, expediting the mission, totally try it out for yourself. Anyway, let's get to the Nick Grit. Let's back it up a little bit. Let's talk about uh, his resistances because, you know, the resistances, if anything, like anybody is anything, is pretty much like the main bread and butter, okay? Because a lot of people, they actually look up the resistances for each, each individual monster before they actually go to fight us. So that way, they're optimized to fight the thing. But regardless, the Nibble Snarf, he is resi he has weakness to that of Thunder and Ice. Ice more than that of Thunder, so if you did skip over this guy to go fight the Lagambi, to get a Lagambi weapon, you could bring it back here and do some good work. I mean, I should have done the same thing, honestly. Um, fighting this guy is a huge chore. I kind of don't understand why I came here with this particular lance. I mean, this lance is a pretty good lance in, it in and of itself, but... It's getting to the point now, guys, that you should probably start looking for elemental weapons, honestly, because before you can get away with it because the monsters themselves didn't have that much health. Now, the Nimble Snarf is a very healthy monster. He's going to take quite a bit of a damage, quite a bit of damage before he actually kicks the bucket. So, I would totally recommend, if you guys haven't yet, go fight the Lagambi, get a Lagambi weapon. Lagambi doesn't have too much health, but get a Lagambi weapon and then um, come back and fight this guy. If you're, if you're going to make the armor, I would definitely do that there's no way in the world i would say fight this guy without a lot without a nice weapon if you're gonna make the armor and the armor itself is actually not really all that but if you're an armor connoisseur and you like the way this monster's armor looks and it does look pretty to gosh darn good i would totally you know say just go for it i mean i ran the, Snip, the nibble star farmer when i was playing cross i'm going to skip over it this time uh, due in part that I'm just going to focus on all the newer monsters in the game and get their armors and the monster we haven't seen in quite some time kind of like the bull drum here But the armor like I said isn't all that good you get speed eating and I think negate hunger Or something like that. I, I think that's what it is. So I mean if you if you like speed eating you can run this guy's armor I mean sure why not it has great defense on it. So I mean it's totally up to you guys It looks good visually. It's a good looking armor as well. So it's up to you on whether you should like run it or not. It's uh, up to you as well. Um, moving over from you know the resistances and things like that, let's talk about some of his tactics. Now, as you can see so far, he does like to dig. He digs a lot. It's his number one main thing. He's a sand dweller. Now, he will dig underneath the sand 
and you know he'll tunnel around and you have to like look for him or he'll dig underneath the sand and he'll ambush you from underneath as well he can do that in two different styles he can do it in a style where he just leaps up and just like takes a bite out of crime or he'll come off the ground and then he'll like do exactly what he's doing right here now dodging the bulk of his attacks are actually relatively easy to do just give him a wide burst you know what I mean they're very telegraphed you know but uh, when he does eat a bomb though I highly recommend that you actually do what I'm doing here when he when he eats a bomb and he explodes he's going to be standing vertically out of the ground that gives you the opportunity to actually fish him out for an extended period of time in which you to do damage to him and get a free shiny and he won't immediately go back into the ground like right away because they have to flip back over on the side and you can do a little bit more damage where he does dig back underneath the ground so his moves are relatively varied he does have two sand attacks he has a sand beam which he will um, turn from left to right it is one where he can just shoot it straight forward I don't know the distance on it but I know the distance is pretty great so I mean if you see it coming it's best for you to completely get out of the way from it either left or right trying to beat it deep probably wouldn't be your best uh, wouldn't be your best choice he also has an ability where he will open up the flaps on his back like I guess you can call them ears because that's kind of what they look like and he'll raise his head up and then slam his head back down and it'll shoot out sand as well now that attack isn't very very strong but it can kind of disrupt you especially if you're trying to go in for some good damage and you don't have a shield and you have to just you know hold that attack one thing I don't know what to do with this guy is know exactly when to throw the sonic bombs I apologize I mean I tend to do one here in a little bit but I, I just can't really figure out exactly when you do it if you guys know when to do it bomb me let people know in the comment section but other than that I mean we talked about his, his resistances we talked about the weapons which you can use out of them his weapons though they're very good I recommend his weapons they are water weapons with really good water element they have defense the sharpness is really good the attack is good I mean it's just some good water so if you need your water weapon for whatever reason, or you just want a water weapon, run some Nibble Snarf. It's not bad. I mean, the only other water weapons that's probably better than it will probably be Mr. Bubbles, aka Mitsune, and maybe in a pinch, um, Plesioth or whatever, but or Amatatsu, but that's like mad later. So run you some good water from the Nibble Snarf. He's the only one who actually gives you defense to boot. So if you are kind of slacking in the defense department and you're waiting for that that one particular armor set to come through run this man's weapons if you need some water and need some defense it's totally in there but everyone with that being said uh, it's been your boy Dak 908 aka the dig dug himself I know I'm not gonna comment this entire video because the 15 minute video and I have tons of other videos I need to commentate over as well I just want to kind of give you guys all my tips and little tricks and knickknacks and patty racks and bone givings and whatnots but uh, with that being said everyone it's been your boy you all have a wonderful rest of your day and as always may the desire sensor forever be in your favor